He came up to us and he was like, oh, will you take a photo of me? But as he stood up, he, like, started taking photos yeah, of, of us. us. So when I saw the police walking along the promenade, I said, as soon as he sees you, he's going to bolt. And exactly like the plan went, as soon as he saw them, he bolted. Today isn't the first time lifeguards have received complaints about this man. Beardy and that had thrown him off the beach a couple of times already. Inappropriate touching can be regarded as assault. After pressing his hand towards this woman's breast, the man tries to kiss her. Hey, come here. What the f are you doing? Bitch. Kissing girls, touching girls over there. Not touch. Yes, I just saw that. Yeah. Yeah, stop it. Yeah. Get your gear and go. Okay, Get your gear right. and go. Okay. Otherwise, the police will come. Today, the man is back and he's up to his old tricks. He's f***ing hustling these chicks. Look, she's putting her top on and that. The man offers to do up the woman's bikini. Reedy can't sit back any longer. I sort of summoned my heavy chest and went down there and tried a bit of a heavy-handed approach. Get off the beach. The man refuses to admit fault, but Reedy isn't backing down. Get off the beach. And he took off. He just sort of started running. He, it was obvious that he knew what he was doing was wrong. The mention of the police gets the man's attention. But remarkably, he only relocates to the grassy area at South Bondi. The guy was so cocky that he didn't care what we were saying. Total disrespect for us. So I called the cops. Do you reckon you guys could send a, a couple of crew down if you're not too busy? We've just got this guy, we've thrown him off the beach a couple of times. Like, and he's just hassling chicks all the time. We weren't super busy on the beach, so I walked down to South and just monitored him till the police arrived. Yeah, they're, um, they're walking South, you won't miss them. Can I be? You've got another girl. So when I saw the police walking along the promenade, I said, as soon as he sees you, he's gonna bolt. And exactly like the plan went, as soon as he saw them, he bolted. Cops are running. Reed, he's getting his trice on too, Johnny. I definitely wasn't going to let him get away. Here we go. Reed is going to take him down here. When I ran and approached him, I thought he was going to run, so I was getting ready to tackle him. He's got him. Reed, he's got him. He sort of stopped still. And I grabbed him on the arm. It looked like he wanted to resist a little bit, but I think he saw the boys in blue coming behind me. What you running for, dude? What's your battle? Yeah. What's why, why did you run up the hill? Hmm? Why did you run up the hill? Nice. That's the way I go. I still here. Come to the beach. Well, if you go through his photos on his phone, yeah, mate, you'll see his shirt I don't know what he's doing with it. Nothing. Yeah. I come there to the beach. Nothing. Oh, what, what for? What are you doing it for? Police check the man's phone. But all photos have been deleted. And without any of the women present to make a statement, police must let the man go. You kind of don't invade other people's space, and this guy was just doing exactly that. He was just getting all up, all up in women's space and making them feel really uncomfortable. Pretty happy that we caught him and detained him. We don't like people like that on the beach. Huh? You are not allowed back here. No problem. Okay? Put me now. You come back with the no images. Problem. Put me. No crime. But obviously, if you come back here, you will get in trouble. Okay. Right. Having the police involved should give the guy a bit of a scare, and we won't see him around the beach for a while. Police issued the man with a move-on order, and he left the beach. Maxi has just rescued 16-year-old Jason from the rip at South Bondi. He's one of a group of boys who'd been drinking illegally on the beach minutes earlier. More lifeguards back up. Bring them back. 
closer. Oxygen will help Jason breathe if he's taken water into his lungs. Stay awake, open your eyes for me. You swallow any water? A you lot. swallow a lot of water. Man, I saw him and you just got, yeah. went under and then you just pain in the stomach. You got any pains in the stomach? In there? Yeah, yeah Bisho, we've got a uh, an ambo. We've got a male. Uh, swallowed a, a fair bit of water. It's, it's one of the guys that came down we spotted before. Yeah. They've been drinking a fair yeah, bit. Right. With South Bondi becoming increasingly hectic, more backup is on the way. It's still difficult to tell whether Jason is sick from drinking, almost drowning, or both. When paramedics arrive, it's clear who needs to be treated first. He's popped off quite a bit of water. We brought him in. His breathing was fairly rapid when we brought him in. He slowed down a lot and he was complaining of soreness in the throat and tightness in the chest. Okay, was he alert when you just got him? What's that, sorry? Was he alert Maxi? when you just... Maxi picked him up I, out in the water. I did a rescue. Yep. I looked out and he was struggling getting in. We saw him um, having drinks before they went in the water. Are you any problems with your breathing at the moment? As Jason stabilises, it's time for sober reflection. It's meant to be a nice day, have a couple of beers, have a swim. And all of a sudden, he can't breathe at all. As soon as we're coming, five minutes into it, you know, it's messed up. I'm never drinking when I swim again at all. Come over here. All right, cheers. Victor's ambitious plan to put his dislocated shoulder back in hasn't worked. Now the Ambos have got two patients for the price of one. Job out there, mate. Thanks, mate. Nah, really well. You did really well. You were calm, collect. You had all the information ready when you got him back to shore, and you stabilised him well. But for Jason's mates, mind your own business. The lesson on beach safety isn't over. Police have been informed the boys were drinking on the beach. They now face a fine for consuming alcohol in a public place. Don't grab. This is the way I am. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're going to come with us up to the police station, just up here to Bondi Police Station, OK? We're going to walk up there, OK? We're going to give you a ticket and then you can go over there. Mate, you grab all these bottles, put in the bin over there. Yeah, sure. Uh, we got caught with alcohol. One of our mates is in hospital and they've been trying to bully me, so I've been bullying them back. Uh, where's the bin? Just there. Just there. Wait for that, they're already taking me up to the station. Just up in here. Oi, I've got a question. Grab all those bottles Oi, oi, oi. So I can want to know what you're taking me in for. What's your reason for taking me to the station? Mate, you're going back to get issued with an infringement. Yeah, you, yeah, infringement for what? What's your reason for taking me back to the police Drinking station? Drinking alcohol in a public place. Drinking alcohol in a public place. Whereas I have no alcohol that is open on me. Mate, grab all those bottles, put in the bin for us. They have no warrant. The alcohol is not mate, open. Let's go. Hang up, let's go. No, I'm, I'm not hanging up. Okay, I don't mate. care what you're telling me. Unless you want to get you handcuffed. Handcuff me. Do I care? For? Bullshit. Do I care? You've got the reason to handcuff me. You had to make it hard, didn't you? I was on the phone to my worker. We give you a chance and you didn't take it. Wait, they're not that bad. I wanted to talk to my worker, right? Please come up to the station. Can you put all his stuff in a bag? Do you want to just come up to the police station with it? Hey, how about they arrest the bloke? Arresting him. How's that? His mate goes to hospital and the other one goes to the jail cell. Mate, they're full of drink and it's an alcohol free zone. A seemingly innocent drink on the beach has led to a near drowning and now an arrest.